Welcome back to the Urban Suburban Garden. In today's episode, we're gonna change things around here in the garden. We've harvested quite a bit. As you can see, we got quite a bit of empty spots here, a couple over there on the other side of the corn. So I'm gonna replant some corn over on this spot here. I took down five of them, so I'm gonna put five in that spot there. In this area here, I'm gonna to try to run another maybe 10 of them or so. Uh, so now that I think I know what I'm doing anyway, I can uh, grow those out and get more of a harvest. With the, the five that we took down, we only took down maybe five or seven ears of corn. Um, this here should be a better harvest because they got bigger and I didn't make the mistakes I did with the first five. And now that I know what I'm doing, maybe I won't have the same problem over here and I get full corn uh, ears uh, with everything that I plant over here. But I noticed the more I plant, the more I'll, I'll get back. And my family likes corn, so yeah, we're gonna do extra ones over here. Also, I'm gonna do some more carrots because I took down the, the first round of carrots. I did the same problem what did with a couple other spots. Put too many in one area. This time I'll do less of them, but I like carrots, family love carrots, and doesn't take long to grow. So I think I have enough time from seed to harvest before the first frost comes. So that's what we're gonna do in a couple areas right over here that I have empty. And I'm also gonna plant uh, some more potatoes. In this area here, this is where the potatoes were at uh, uh, that I just harvested. This time I'm gonna move all the potatoes, that, the remaining potatoes that I have here in the garden to this one area and I'm gonna add maybe one more pot. Uh, and that's gonna be white potatoes. But I got white potatoes and purple potatoes going and that should fill this area out here pretty well. And uh, do some pruning to my tomatoes over here. My, the bottoms of my tomato plants are, I mean, the tomato plants are growing like crazy and we're gonna take a better look at that. Uh, but the bottom halves of them need to really be cleaned up. I got quite a few leaves sitting on top of the pots and that shouldn't happen because that causes disease and other stuff. So I definitely wanna um, cut some of the, the, the branches and the leaves that are sitting on top of the pots away and just do overall maintenance to the whole garden. So let me get started and you just follow along. All right, we've cleaned up the whole garden, reorganized some things. We moved the strawberries that used to be back over here in the corner, over to right here. And I'm going to put four more strawberry plants right in those empty spots there. So this whole section here will be all strawberries. Right here, 16 different quadrants. I'm going to do all sweet corn, which are these right here. And then I have these three white potatoes I'm gonna put in this 10 gallon pot here and let them grow in there along with these other potatoes. I think I have uh, two other white potatoes and three purple potatoes in here. So I'll put those in here now and by the fall, I'll be harvesting probably just that one there. Those there come out sometime in the next month or so. Um, and as you can see over in my corner there where there used to be where my strawberries and carrots used to be, over there now, and that's all my 
peppers and onions, that whole corner right there. So it's a little bit more organized. Cleaned up all the bottoms of the tomato plants. And I'll give you a better look at that in a minute. But it cleaned out all the bottom of the, uh, the foliated, and uh, not the foliated, uh, they call it lollipopping or something like that. Uh, it's cleaning up the bottom of the plants. Got rid of all that bottom growth, all that, uh, the, the sucker branches that were growing that weren't producing any tomatoes. And I cleaned all of those out. And it looks a heck of a lot better. More airflow going about them. And again, I'll show you, uh, give you a look at that in just a second. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and put these corn, this corn, the uh, corn seeds, and these 16 spots here, and get those going along with these potatoes. Got the seeds in the pot, corn all planted, strawberries, I'm gonna go pick up some of those today and I'll put those in. But after I put everything in, I just give it a light watering. The soil is pretty wet uh, from the rain that we've been getting here in this area, we're getting quite a bit of rain. So this stuff is pretty uh, wet already, but I'm just gonna add a little bit to it. Wet the top of the soil, nothing too heavy. So like I said, it's already pretty wet. And that's about it. We'll wait, it should be 10 to 21 days, I think that is what it said on the packet, for uh, the germination of the, these corn, this corn. Let me check and make sure. It says a seven to 10 days in this fourth crop. So seven to 10 days, we should see something coming up out of the ground here. Uh, when I planted them in the other spots, every one of them came up, so we shouldn't have a problem with that. The potato plants, the same thing. Uh, shouldn't take long, especially with the soil being as warm as it is. The plant, the potato shouldn't, should take off pretty fairly easily. Uh, within a week, we should see something coming up out of that, uh, that pot over there. And like I said, I'll be putting the new strawberry plants in today uh, to take care of that. Let me give you a look at my tomato plants and what I've done to them. All right, here in Tomato Alley, as you can see, I cleaned up all the bottom of all the tomato plants. If there was not, no tomatoes growing off of them, I cut them branches off. Get a much more air circulation down here and uh, let that energy that the, uh, the plant was using to keep all those branches alive put them in into producing more of these tomatoes. Only one that has to stay here um, at the bottom, as you can see, my beefsteak tomatoes, tomatoes are all down at the bottom, so I couldn't cut that branch off there. And kind of the same thing here with this Roma tomato here. The tomatoes were growing pretty low, so I was only cleaning, I only cleaned up what I could. And the other ones were pretty easy to clean up. And all of, the, most of the tomatoes on these plants, oh, they're growing over here, are all up top. So I should, within the next week, I should see a lot more growth now that I got rid of all that extra junk. And uh, there's quite a few of them here growing and they all start to turn red, some of them, some spots, especially I saw one in here somewhere. I can't find it now. Oh yeah, down there. And that's nice and red, ready to come off. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, damn good tomato, damn good tomato. That's one of the cherry tomatoes. That's nice and sweet. So, oh yeah. So, that's all I have for you today. See my, my new, improved garden, nice and cleaned up. And uh, I'll look forward to the corn, 
and harvesting the rest of this stuff in here because everything is going great. But that's all I have for you today's video. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe and share with your friends. And until next time, keep growing.